Hey, it's Dan. You're watching I Allegedly. Thank you for being here. Um, got a couple uh, business lenders for you today that you probably haven't heard of. And uh, we've got a couple uh, grants for uh, artists that I've been uh, having a bunch of requests for. So we're going to get into that. Uh, before we get into it, please like uh, this video, share the video with your friends and colleagues. And uh, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get all the notices of everything that we're doing. And uh, um, before I get into it, um, we've got a, a great letter here from uh, Marco Rubio. Uh, Senator Rubio is the chairman for the Senate Subcommittee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship. And uh, uh, on November 12th, he sent Javita Carranza a letter in regards to problems that the SBA uh, is having that have been made very public and requests that he made in regards to items that they want for this committee in short order. So you guys remember the Senate, uh, the IG report on uh, inspection of Small Business Administration initial disaster loan. Anyways, remember I bound that because it's, it's insane and uh, all the problems that they had with this and this is just beautiful. Well. On November 12th, Marco Rubio sent a letter to Javita Carranza, the head of the SBA. And, you know, just a couple stats for you. There were 3.6 million uh, EIDL loans written, and there's been uh, 5.7 million uh, of the EIDL grants that were dispersed. Now, the problem with it, because there was such rampant fraud, the SBA has, and law enforcement has already seized $450 million in EIDL loans and funding because of all these fraud schemes that they've uncovered. Now, the SBA, between now and November 20th, they want all of this information from uh, the SBA. They have eight things that they're asking for. Detailed information regarding each employee and contractor that was terminated by the SBA for involvement in approving loans for themselves. Uh, detailed information regarding each employee and contractor that was terminated by the SBA for inappropriately in influencing loan approval. Uh, detailed information regarding the uh, action the SBA has taken to mitigate potential fraud or misuse of EIDL by employees and contractors. Detailed information regarding SBA's vetting and hiring process for disaster employees. Documentation detailing the SBA's EIDL loan review procedures. Documentation uh, detailing the advance grant uh, review process. They're gonna have to answer to all this stuff. Copies of SBA contracts for third parties and so on, okay? I mean, this is a mess, but the beauty of this is that they're gonna have to answer to all of this. This has gone on, you know, it, it, you know it's been a real problem. From, from day one, they haven't handled this program. They never should have been given this program. Two things, um, one of the listeners, one of these subscribers to the channel contacted me yesterday and uh, uh, she was sent personal information from another business by the SBA. The SBA had requested multiple times the same documentation and keep sending this letter out. They asked for this information again and included in the last email, they sent personal information from another business in another state. Crazy. I spoke to a friend of mine who is a very successful guy, okay? He's got a credit score over 800. He is the CFO for several businesses and they went to get an EIDL loan and he's been told he's approved for the EIDL loan but still cannot get the loan amount. It has been eight weeks now, eight weeks, and he does not have the loan amount. He's not allowed to talk to somebody in tier two anymore. And uh, the SBA, when I contacted them, they said, wait till the change in the administration happens. And I'm like, guys, uh, you know, unless you don't know how to read a calendar, that would be January 20th if that happens. And that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So I don't know if they're holding on to these funds or what they're doing, but it's a complete disaster. So anyways, uh, they're gonna have to answer all this stuff. This letter is absolutely beautiful, okay? And, uh, you know, let's get into it. We've got uh, two uh, uh, business loans that are unique in that uh, we have no affiliation of these people. We have no, you know, there's no affiliate program. There's nothing with these. These are just recommendations for 
uh, nonprofit type lenders that you can go to that I've heard that other people have had success with. So take a look. Good luck. Now, up first, as far as alternative lenders, is Opportunity Fund. Now, Opportunity Fund has got microloans that you can get. And the cool thing about this is that they have programs. Um, this right here is California, but they have different programs all over the country. Okay, And this is just so cool because regardless of what type of business you're in, whether you're a nonprofit, you're a for-profit, this place has written loans, uh, you know, for every type of business. And, you know, whether you are a small company, you have a larger company, this is a great place to get a loan from. And uh, I would highly look at this. The link will be below and they're very competitive rates that you can get. And uh, these micro loans are supported by different donations. And uh, here's everything that you can do as far as loan payments, as far as how to contact them. And uh, they've got a webinar series. And uh, if you're outside of California, here's the application. If you're outside of California, uh, there is another program that you go to. I mean, this is just standard stuff. Look at this stuff. Your gross receipts. How much are you looking for? I'm looking for $10 million. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, now, if you're located outside of California, then you go to Lending Club, which is basically the same type of program, okay? So you can get a small business loan for up to 500 k And again, I don't make any money on this stuff. This is not anything that I'm affiliated with, but it's just something that people have told me that they've had success with, so you should take a look at it, okay? And again... 124 days for an EIDL loan. This thing says it won't even run your credit. It'll be a soft pull, which means it doesn't go on your credit report if you're concerned about that. Reach out and get an answer today. Now, the Opportunity Fund led me down this path to find People Fund. People Fund is a program out of the state of Texas. This is, if you're in Austin, if you're in the city of El Paso, if you're in the city of Fort Worth, Pleasanton, City of Victoria, City of uh, Hayes Ca uh, County, Hildago County, you can get loans and grants are available for small business in these different areas that people didn't know about. Hildago County cares about small business. Here's the grant program for Hildago County. I mean, this is crazy, guys. This is, this is a simple application, and you can get this grant money right away. So number of employees, payroll costs, fill this stuff out. I mean, very, very simple stuff. They're giving this money out. Take a look at this. If you know anybody else that's in the state of Texas, see if they're in these areas and they can qualify for this. It would be a great thing to share this with somebody else. So, I mean, this is crazy. It's Look at all this. All these different programs. 5,000, 3,000. I mean, this is amazing. Good luck to you guys. Share this with anybody else you know of that can benefit from this. Now, I keep getting requests for grants for artists and the artist community. And here's the thing, you know, as a writer, you know, my, um, I loved writing. It was the one thing, if I could do it all the time, I would do it. But my kids had this problem with uh, um, eating and growing. And uh, they would eat three times a day and they would grow out of the clothes that they, that they had. So I had to buy new clothes, and as a writer, it would either be feast or famine for me. So I appreciate everybody, and I understand the writer and the artist lifestyle. So as I find these, I'm going to bring these out to you guys. But again, um, here's two artist grants that are available continually. I'm continually looking for these. Share these with anybody you know, and good luck, okay? Now for the artist grant. Up first is Actors Fund. I mean, this is for everybody in entertainment, and that means everybody. This is a program that's designed for all these different people. You've got a New York, Chicago, LA office. This is for people that have definitely made a living from being in the entertainment industry. So take a look at these grants. Take a look at, there's the phone numbers to get a hold of these people. But this is, if you have verifiable income and you are considered an artist, this is available to you. Share it with somebody you know or use it yourself. Good luck. And finally, Authors League Fund. Now, this is a grant program to help you if you are a writer 
They've been around since 1917, and they help fund writers that are having a bad time. Now, the cool thing about this is that this is not just, you know, novelists. This is for everybody, whether you're a journalist, whether you have written plays. I mean, this is for anybody who is considered a writer, and they're here to help. So the application, professional guidelines, you know, you know, um, it's book authors, journalists, dramatists. I mean, it, as long as you have, you know, you're a verifiable writer who's got content that can be shown and proven to these people, you could get this fund and get this money. You know, you know, writers facing medical bills, facing eviction, facing, you know, um, struggling because of the natural disaster. The application process is fairly simple. Here's how you get a hold of them. There's the phone numbers there. All the links will be below. But again, there's how to get a hold of them via email. The application process is just standard stuff, guys. Fill this thing out and verify, you know, what you've done and how you earned money. And for that, you could be eligible for this stuff. But these are out there. Search for these. If this doesn't help you, if you're not a writer, if you're a sculptress, whatever you are, there are things for artists of all types that can help you. But here's a perfect example of if you don't ask, you're not going to get it. Good luck to you guys. Hopefully this is useful. You know, I'm constantly looking for alternatives because the SBA is an absolute mess. The friend that I mentioned earlier in the video, he has two friends that have gone out of business in the last 30 days because they were waiting for SBA money that they're not going to get. And the fact that the SBA is taken up to 124 days, and I, and I know I get the little hate comments on, on how quick it is. It's ridiculous, okay? Uh, people are tired of waiting. That's why they go to these alternative sources and people are having success with it. So go borrow money someplace else. If it's going to move your business forward, search for alternatives, okay? If you are hurting personally and you need grant money, for yourself, for rent, for your bills, communicate with your your the people you owe money to, and uh, and, uh, and and constantly look for local resources. I will share as many as I can. Please reach out anytime. I will answer any questions I can. And uh, good luck to each and every one of you. We have so many cool things coming up, and uh, I'm constantly researching this. And uh, the best thing about all this stuff, and that you can understand, is that. For those of us that were that were mistreated and were taken advantage of and screwed over, uh, there is trouble coming for all these people that did all these bad things, okay? That lied and, and stole money that you and I could have gotten. So good luck to you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, join the email list, and, uh, and we'll talk to you very soon. Good luck.